Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Elite Dangerous Beginner Guide from a Beginner with your host, Great Taz. Now let's get on in our ships and launch out into the deep black. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Great Tez here once again, and today we're going to go over planetary landings. It's one of the other little things that's in the game, if you have horizons, that you kind of need to know how to do. First, we got to find this hub. It's on the other side of the planet. Now, this is a continuation on from my Traders um, uh, episode, and... Uh, I was already out and about and of Atkins HUD and I figured, well, you know, we need to people need to, might want to learn how to land on planets. Now you'll see the two different lines. The blue line is your atmosphere, the yellow line is extra close. Um, and once you get <clears throat> under the blue line, you'll see these get close, you'll start seeing these counters on the side here that you see that's slowly going down. <clears throat> and you'll see the uh, the gauge at the top which is giving you dir your direction now what we have to first do is find get Atkins hub so it's on a good angle now your descent it all depends on who you talk to um, it's it's a matter of when you can get your glide to drop you want your glide to drop when you're about 180 kilometers away from your target um, and as you can see over here in the bottom left, that's right there. All right, now we're going to start peeling down. Did you hear orbital flight starting to gauge? So we're going to start flying down, and then we'll get into a glide mode. But what we want is our glide mode to roughly end when we're in under 100 kilometers. Um, and that way, when we drop out, we'll be really close to this um, the, the hub. So we want to keep up our speed until we get under 100 kilometers. Once you get to 2,500 meters, like right now, 2.5 kilometers a second, you'll drop into orbital. You'll drop into your glide mode. All right. Now, once your glide mode engages, my bad. Um, I was I was stating that wrong. Well, you want your glide mode to engage from a, uh, 80 kilometers to 100 kilometers. The closer, the better, because when you drop out, you'll drop in closer to your um, your station that you want. Now, if you're just dropping in on a, in any section of the planet, um, you just want to guesstimate it. Um, as you can see here, we're under we're almost under our complete Sorgan, location zero, zero, zero. <clears throat> where we want to, so we can then and there you can see our landing pad is now lit up. Now, you can play this as many ways. If you got um, your auto dock on, it'll, it'll, it'll dock for you. Um, if you got advanced docking computers and stuff like that. Now, remember, we took the advanced docking computers off earlier and uh, to make room for Olympic controllers. Well, uh, while we were over at um, the other dock, I took everything off and made room for cargo so I could make a quick, some quick package. Rate of descent is good. Watch your speed. I want to lower our landing gear here. And this is giving them a little bit into how to land um, without... Complete. Now this goes for any station. As you can see here on our, our screen in the bottom, we have those two arrows there pointing. Also, if you look up, we can find it. Our numbers are readable. And in front of us they're not behind us all right so that means we're going in in the right direction all right and the arrows on the pad below means that's the direction you need your ship to be pointing as you can see and then we'll just get into the circle oh hey whoa, 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 why am I moving I don't do it to move there we go and just lower down and park it all right and this is basically a planetary planet now, the more advanced planetary landing where you have um, SRVs and stuff like that. Now, this is a quick, sweet, short video. 
because there's not really a lot to go over when it comes to planetary landings. You have your hubs that are stations or outposts. A planetary outpost, as it is called, on planets, and sometimes you have to land at them. Um, all your engineers are at planetary outposts. They all have their own planetary outposts, and you have to learn to land at them. So you have to learn to get the glide in. Now, my members of my alliance calls it a TAG approach. Basically, anything 40 to 60 degrees, where that red line is, even 45 to 60 degrees, as they call it a TAG approach, because I come in at a high angle. Um, some others will come in at a lower angle and skim. I've noticed for me personally coming in at that higher angle allows me to hit that glide under 100 kilometers under 100 kilometers a lot easier than if I come in at a lower angle and try because a lot of times I hit that glide at over 100 kilometers so I'll drop out at a lot for the distance away from the planetary outpost and that means I gotta fly longer it's just a personal um, per, really personal feeling on your own and in here in a moment we'll take off from here so we're going to drop off our mission and uh, <clears throat> then we'll jump on out of here and see what else we can do a few moments later alright here we are back on on the surface now we're going to launch now to launch from a planetary outpost or the planet is rather simple really there's not a lot to it so what can you do oh well basically we'll go to you know we'll just enter the hangar for giggles it's and giggles and then we'll go from there now you can see the coolness of an underground effect, um, a lot going on here. They put a lot of work into a lot of these things. So now we'll return back to the surface and get ready for launch. Now if you have, you still have your um, auto, advanced auto uh, dock and computer and um, subspace cruise or whatever it's called. Um, this some of this stuff you don't need to worry about the ship will do it for yourself but there's gonna be a point where you buy that medium ship that it doesn't come with it so you got to either pull it off a small ship buy a new one or learn how to do all this stuff yourself so it's better just to learn to do it yourself so you don't really have to rely on everything so we're gonna go to launch and just like at any other station it's going to let us loose first thing we're gonna do is and you can either do this in any suit order. You can start lifting up and lift your landing gear, or you can land your lift your landing gear and go up. Either way. Now you're going to look at your numbers here, your angle thing, and go until you're getting going up. All right, and then just boost. All right, and then just continue to boost. Until your mass lock is basically um, cleared off. There are mass locks cleared off. We're going to jump to um, subspace. Here it gives us an escape vector, which is 90 degrees, roughly 90 degrees right off the surface of the, uh, the planet. And we fly. It's just that simple. Now, if you don't have um, your subspace jump the subspace on a key binding at this point I highly suggest you go back and look at my episode one um, and there are key bindings I highly suggest that you put into the game um, because as you can see right now we're targeted for another system we're not targeted for Atkins hub but we're targeted for Atkins hub now we go to the navigation panel we're gonna go back to Galaxy because we picked up another stuff for Mayot. All right, I'm gonna go over Mayot, and we're gonna go out here. And where we're going, we're gonna exit. And as you can see, it's behind us. Now, if we hit J, it's gonna charge. But if we were on the surface and we would have hit J, there's no guarantee that Mayot, the direction the Mayot, would be not behind us 
How about on the other side of the planet? But if you get that, you get an indestructible view, and then you can't jump. So you need another way. Then, then you gotta have the jump out of your drop out of your target, jump into your system, your navigation panel into your system map, select a target, and hope that that target is said um, on the uh, so not uh, blocked by the planet again. So that's why if you have your sublight speed um, mapped to a key or a toggle on your um, host host, um, you don't have to worry about that. And it's a very good thing to map. So it's one of those things you got to figure out. Um, like I said, I mapped mine to the K key because it's right next to the J key, which is um, your FSD drive to jump, um, basically uh, to jump between systems. It also can be jumped within a system, but if you have the K, K will only do your inner system, not outer system jumps. So, just little things to look for in the future. Um, and uh, little tips and tricks. Oops, here I'm sitting here talking, not paying attention to what I should be doing. And I'm going to partially make a loop of shame. Not really, because you see the slowdown has gone away. And I can just turn around and get back and hit my 75% key and not have to worry about it. Alright, so um, that's another little tip trick and a small little um, another episode on um, planetary landings. Um, you can land on any planetary planet that has atmosphere and you, and you can know it has atmosphere So when you come in close to it, you see the blue ring. It's a landable planet So you don't really need anything special to land other than horizons to be able to land on planets So you don't need anything other than your ship and a little bit of control And now if you want to land on a planet straight on a planet um We'll go over that in a moment too. Oops, and you'll see that. Uh, we're gonna go drop off all this stuff that we got here at the starbase. That's way no one's gonna mess with us and try to steal it like a stinking pirate, NPC pirate. There we go. And as you can see, you come in at 90 and it comes in as straight on. It, it's it's really weird. Alright, so in a couple of minutes, we're going to get back to landing on the planet's surface. A few moments later. Alright, here we go. Now we're going to land on this moon. Right here. I'm not sure where my lines are. Alright, here we go. Here's our lines. Now we're going to want to come in. It doesn't matter how we do this if we're just going in to land. Now, orbital flight engaged. For this one, we'll keep a, a low ascent, um, so we don't crash into the planet. And you have no thing to gauge your distance off of here, and you just continue to go down until you know you get to that point where you get to that low speed once again so that glide all right all right we hit glide speed gonna drop from orbital cruise hit our glide and then we're just gonna glide all right and you can see here we're getting close to the, the surface we're five kilometers away four kilometers away now we're out of glide and then we can boost get ourselves closer and you want to keep a surface idea over here on your right of your detail panel so you keep an eye on that so that you know when you're getting close all right now we're under two kilometers as a surface Alright, we're going to have an impact, we're going to hit the brakes, we're actually going to start full reverse, that'll help us slow down, alright, now we're, now we're under 100, km, 100 meters, alright, and now we're going to 
the stop and you can see your radar down here has changed all right now you put down your landing gear and we just slowly once you get an alignment good they get the blue your ship turns blue in the bottom and then you see this on the line that means your alignment's good now if you see this it'll tell you which way you got to turn you got to nose up and what you got to do so if you follow those directions you'll literally have a good landing every time now some surfaces uh, now it's telling me the, suit, the, the terrain is unsuitable we hit a little too hard there we go we're landed now at this point in time if you would have an SRV you just come to your three and you'll see the SRV here if you have an SRV bay and then you click on it and go down through and deploy and I'll get into that more in your advance now take off take off is very simple here also as you can see you want to charge up your engines so you're going to hit R and you got those three nodules that'll come up and then you hold your R Gear, Hold your landing gear. Point up until you got that almost 90 degree angle once again. Boost away. Boost away until your mass lock is unlocked. Okay, mass lock is unlocked. Frame then we hit our subspace. F Four, put our FSD three, into subspace two. energy. And we jump into the subspace. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Planetary landing at a planetary hub or fortress or whatever you want to call it. And just straight on planetary landing. Two things needed to know for Horizon people. Now, there's a lot of other things you want to get to learn. Um, we'll learn about in more advanced videos controlling your SRV, scanning with your SRV, and there'll be a whole set, a couple videos that deal just with your SRV. So there's a lot more to go on, and it's, to me it's a little bit, little over on the, the beginner's guide. So uh, with that, we're going to get in this one also, um, and hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you did not... Um, you know what to do. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please take a moment to subscribe and click that notification bell, changing it from occasional to always to get instant notification of all my new uploads. Without all being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is Great Taz signing off and saying we'll see you in the deep, dark black.